Riverside County, in a few hours, it's going to be your turn to experience Carmageddon, but this time they're calling it the 60 Swarm. A big stretch of the 60 freeway from the 215 to the 91 215 interchange will be off limits at certain times, but it's going to last for months. It starts tonight. CBS2 Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live for us right along the 60 in Eastville with the big repavement project. Nicole. Yeah, Pat and Jeff, we're still about four hours away from those freeway closures. So right now, traffic along the 60 in East Vale is moving along just fine. But first, we want to switch over to Drone Force 2 right now to give you an idea of the scale of this project, of how Caltrans is preparing to start work out here tonight. You can see that they've set up this big uh, concrete batch plant here to have all the material they need right here on standby as they begin the work out here to repave these lanes. It's been a rough ride on the 60 freeway for years, but this weekend marks the official start of smoother sailing. Caltrans is calling the four month long stretch of weekend closures the 60 Swarm. The $134 million cluster of construction projects will include repaving lanes and replacing bridges. Starting Friday night at 10 p.m., Caltrans crews will shut down a 12 mile stretch of the eastbound 60 between the 15 in Ontario and the 215 91 split in Riverside. The route won't reopen until 5 a.m. Monday morning, and some people are concerned about the closures. For the whole weekend, how am I going to get to work? <laughs> Others are more concerned about the wear and tear on their cars. I'm actually really happy about it because I drive it every day and it tears up my tires, the potholes. The closures will continue every weekend until the middle of November, except for two busy holiday travel weekends, Labor Day and Veterans Day. Detours will be detailed on signs along the Inland Empire freeways, but Caltrans wants to remind drivers in advance to use other freeways like the 10, 15, 210, and 91 to avoid traffic backups from the closures. So if you usually take the 60 on the weekend to get to work, you're probably not going to be very happy for the next several months, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the long run. Reporting live from East Vale, Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News.